Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So in today's video, we will learn how we can implement asynchronous APIs using Just End. So in my previous videos, I already have explained how we can install Just End, what is the difference between Redux and Just End, how we can create multiple stores in Just End. So I have created a playlist related to Just End and you can go and check out all those videos. Those videos will be helpful to understand Just End better for you. So for this particular video, we will be talking about asynchronous methods using just end and how we can call apis from the server and get the data to the front end so this is the video related this video will be related to those things only okay so let me show you first uh, what will be the output let me show you first of all so this is the button okay and if i show you here this is uh, this is the network tab okay and inside this network tab if i click on this show product details so so i will be fetching uh, some product details from the server and then i will be showing here if you click on this Yes, so this is the API call I will be hitting. This is the dummy JSON and uh, uh, here is the data, JSON data that is coming from the server. And uh, here I am showing this data on the front end, okay? So this is the thing we will be creating in this tutorial, okay? And it will get you, it, it, it will give you some understanding how we can implement API calling in just end. It is very easy and we will get all the things in five minutes only. So let's jump into, into the code now. So this is a uh, this is create React app uh, project. Okay, so there is no see nothing fancy in it. I have done some modification. I will show you one by one. So this is the thing. And first of all, I have to install uh, just stand inside my project. npm install just stand. This is very simple. Okay, so it will install just stand as a dep dependency in your package JSON. If I show you here. This is the dependency. Just end is uh, uh, just end is installed as a dependency in our project now. So now we are ready to use just end. And then first of all, we will start the server. npm start. I will choose another port. Yeah. So here we are again on this on this thing. So now let let me show you the uh, code. So this is a, this is our src folder. Inside this src, there is a app js a app dot js obviously so this this is the app js this is the starting point for our, our application so i have created a component this is product details the, just ignore other component just focus on product details because this is the project this is the component we will be talking about in, in this particular tutorial so this is the component so before going to the component we have to create a store from just end so these these are the stores in my previous previous video i have explained how we can create multiple stores in just end as you are if you are coming from redux background so you uh, should be familiar with uh, creating a common store for all the data but in just end there is facility to create multiple stores as well so you uh, you can create multiple stores i have explained everything in my previous video so for this particular uh, particular product detail component i will be creating product store so this is the product store for this particular component only so here first of all we have to import create from just end so this is the create function we have to import from just end this is very basic and uh, then we have to use this create function to create our store basically this is the store and this store is related to this product details only okay so this is product store the, it will store about uh, about it will store only product da related data and nothing else so we have divided our project in multiple stores you have just you need to just ignore other things and uh, this is the store for the products only okay and inside this this is the product okay this is the data but what will we, we will um, get uh, we will be you know filling from from the api response and this is is loading is loading true or false so it will set the loading status for our application and this is the error and this is the page data so this is the asynchronous function uh, we will be calling uh, to get the data from api so if you are familiar with Redux, so there, there, there we had to use Thunk, but there is no such concept in um, in just end to use asynchronous methods. You can directly use asynchronous calls. It, it is very simple. They have just removed all the Thunk and everything. Those middlewares you don't need anymore here in just end. So you have to just uh, use fetch data method. Let me explain you how we can how we can create this method so this is the fetch data so first of all we have to make it asynchronous because we will be using await inside it and uh, when it when it when the body starts so we will set uh, is loading true because uh, it will set the loader as a true so loading is loading is our uh, store variable so we will set it true okay we will use set function I, as i explained in my previous video that 
just and will provide you the this set function and you have to just pass the data inside it and it will set the store variables values okay so you, we have to use just set and then uh, use is loading true and then we have to use try block for the safety and for the inside the try we have to make the api call now i am using this dummy json uh, website so it will pro provide you some dummy data um, uh, okay so i will create a fa this fetch i will use this fetch and then await okay to make it looks synchronous but it is still async guys so if you want to get a video ready to await async and everything promises so i will create i will also create that video you can write down in the comments so this will uh, this will give you the response from the api and then it, we will convert that json response then response into json and then we have to give the data and this data we will be storing in our, in our product so again we, we will be using the set function from from just end to set our product variables so these are the product uh, project product object and we have to fill this product object from uh, from from data so what we are coming for what you are getting from api okay so so now this is the catch block obviously for the catching the errors and this is the final block and on final block we have to just you know is loading is false we have to set is loading false and it, so that's it so it is very simple and basic workflow guys so now now we and we have to then export this store now we have to use this store in in our uh, component so now we will go to uh, our product details component this is a product detail component and here if you see inside this we have to first of all uh, we have to first of all import this product store from the store and then this product store we have to use because we have to call this function because this is a uh, this is a hook based function because in my previous video i explained just end is totally hook based so this is the hook basically we will get this store like this we have to call this function product store then we will get this store this particular store and then from this particular store we can fetch all the data like this like product fetch data and is loading these three uh, what we need from our store now so here if we are using is loading is loading is well, like I'm, I'm showing this div if is loading is true then i'm, I'm showing this loading uh, and if is loading is false then i will remove this uh, is loading from from the dom so next we have this product dot title so if, if the product dot title is there it means we have some data inside our uh, store variable then we will only then we will uh, we will be creating these uh, these dom elements so these are the things so product dot detail product dot description so these are the things we have binded with our uh, with our product data and now we will we have binded this and if we are getting image multiple images from the api so we have to run this map function on the array so this is the product dot images this, this is the array and we have to run this map function and one by one we have to create the images and show all the images uh, on the on the front end so this is how we we can use the we, we can use uh, API data it is very simple very simple unlike Redux you don't need to use anything or middleware you create any actions you run your reducer and then everything so there is there was too much complexity in the Redux so just end is very plain and simple they're very very uh, straight to the point concept okay so here we this this the button hit the button and I, I have to click this fetch data on click I will hit this fetch data and that fetch data this fetch data will show show the uh, this fetch data will show here this fetch data will fill the product data and that product data will, will reflect here like this okay and then this product data will be shown here okay so this is very simple so let me show you to run ag again uh, run it again let me refresh it now we will we will see this is our network tab and inside this network if i click on this show product detail so it will hit some api that fetch data and then it will hit the server and get some data for the front end if i click on here and you will see for one or two second is loading will also be true and you will see the loading uh, loading component here so just see yeah loading is showing and now when loading is disappeared so it means data is loaded and uh, the, then we have to go to this one so this is the api we have used dummyjson.com.product slash product and this is the response we, what we are getting from the server and that that response we, we are show, uh, we are saving inside our product 
variable and then that product variable we are using on our front end so this is the uh, data flow for in case of just stand and api calling so this is very simple so we are just showing this data and there's nothing fancy in it so uh, this every every data is inside our product store variable and we are just binded this data with the, these dom elements so that's it guys so i hope you like the video if you want to learn more about just and you can watch the left left video